Hey there, I am uh, sharing a video about milky oats and benefits, uses, growing, etc. Um, I am outside of my home in Bayfield, Wisconsin, Anishinaabe Territory, Lake Superior region of Wisconsin. So uh, I've grown milky oats for many years, over a dozen. Um, I grow them almost every year. Some people grow them as a cover crop. Uh, they are a nice way to increase biomass for the soil. If you, um, most people when they're doing that will till them in before they get to seed. I will, I bought seed from, I think I bought these seed from High Mowing. Um, you can use feed, feed seed, like chicken feed seed. You can buy whole oats at a co-op. Um, they should be uh, they should be unprocessed in a way that they'll sprout. Um, you can um, th I've, somebody tuned me into that there might be oats that are lower in gluten or having different kind of gluten content and higher in the um, constituents that we like to have for milky oats. So. Um, I'm going to introduce you to milky oats, which are right here, growing in my garden. So um, these are the milky oats. These are in the milky stage. This is what they're looking like as they mature. When they're fully mature, they're going to be oat seed, which is like what you would have for eating oats. Um, for oatmeal, oatmeal is usually rolled oats, so it's going to be the seed which is rolled. And these, um, these seeds are not quite milky yet, or maybe some of them are. There is a little bit of milk coming out of them. You know when the seed is ripe, when you squeeze it and a white milk comes out, and the white milk is coming out of some of them and not others. Um, so when there's milk coming out, Oh, that one has a little bit of milk coming out. Then you know that it's ready to harvest for the milky seed. Um, the milky seed has a constituent that is really, really supportive of nervous system repair. The, um, the word is troporestorative, which means that it heals damaged, um, damaged cells and the troporestorative property is usually um, organ specific. So in this case, the trophor restorative constituents are healing to the nervous system cells, to damaged nervous system cells. Um, there are trophor restoratives for other uh, organ systems. Um, when I talk about other plants, I'll talk about those. Um, so the milky oat seed, when it's fresh, has that constituent. When the seed is dried, that constituent is no longer there, but there's still other constituents which are incredibly nourishing to the nervous system. Uh, people use milky oat seed as tincture um, or as a glycerin tincture, alcohol tincture. I have a friend who makes an infused vinegar, which I'm going to try to do this year. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I generally do an infused glycerin and an infused alcohol with the milky seed. I will freeze, freeze the seed sometimes and then make preparations later. I call that fresh frozen. So they're still fresh. Um, they still have that constituent. When they're dried, they still have wonderful properties for the nervous system, but um, they're missing this really, really um, supportive constituent. Um, there's uh, the straw from the oat, which is the whole bottom part here, is also supportive to the nervous system, and it's also it's and it's mineral rich. Um, so a mineral rich tea that I make will often have oat straw in it, um, and um, yeah, that's the oat. That's the oat plant. Um, there was a question about whether you can find that wild. I have never seen it wild. I highly doubt that you can find it wild. Uh, where I live, though, there's some places where I imagine that oat could reseed. Um, you can harvest the seeds when they mature, and you could use those to plant in the following year. And um, 
Generally people plant the seeds to harvest the milky oats in the spring and then they harvest midsummer or later than midsummer. Midsummer is actually solstice. Um, or I guess the term midsummer means solstice. Um, I guess uh, astronomically we're around midsummer right now, middle of July, end of July. Um, and then some people do, heart, do seed oats for the fall to have as a cover crop. And I've harvested, um, I've harvested oat straw in the fall. I haven't harvested oat seed in the fall. Um, and the oat straw in the fall is really delicious. It's very like thick and juicy and sweet. Um, so that's my introduction to milky oats for folks. Um, let me know um, how your adventures with milky oats go. And if you need any support, please reach out.